good? What's good, y'all? Everyone, everyone. Yeah, you know I mean, the Knicks uh, did exactly what they were supposed to do and absolutely smashed the Detroit Pist- Detroit Pistons, one twenty four to ninety nine. Dante DiVincenzo breaks the Knicks single season three point record with eleven of them things, and Josh Hart uh, has his sixth double double of his career. Six double double. I mean, excuse me. Six triple double double of his career. Six triple double of the season, and six triple double of two thousand and twenty-four. <laughs> when you think about that, that's wild. Yeah, you know I mean, um, I'm gonna turn it over to Mrs. Nix because we did exactly what we were supposed to do tonight. Shout out to Darlene in the building. We see you. Yeah, you know I mean. So, how we feeling? I'm feeling great. Like you said, we, we did what we were supposed to do. In games like today, you always worry about teams playing down to their competition, and the Knicks did not do that from the start. They came out gunning, um, kept kept our foot on their necks. Um, I'm very pleased. I mean, going into April is going to be, you know, tougher games, so we got to come out with wins. Uh where we supposed to, and tonight we definitely were supposed to. Uh, Absolutely. Dante played amazing. Josh played amazing. Jalen played amazing. Uh, Isaiah did his thing. <laughs> Precious Absolutely. did his thing. Deuce. I mean, all around team effort. I mean, I don't know what more we can ask from this team. Yeah. Uh, well, dig my boy Fraz with the hey, yes. really good, in the building. Yeah, long time don't see, good brother. We glad you here. You heard? I'm just glad to have a moment to be here. You know, it's been a rough yeah. little puff lately yeah. going on with everything. But like I said, man, I apologize. But you no, know, no need to apologize, man. You here? I hope everything's going well with you, man. And how about the Knicks? <laughs> Man, all I got to say is Divi with the new Knicks record for most threes. You know what I mean? Another triple-double for Josh Hart, but I'm going to wait till we get on. You know what I mean? Oh, we yeah. are? We, my, we, are. Yeah, we, we already live. Right my live. bad. See, this is how you know I'm out of tune. Huh? Yo, my bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we already live. Mike was good. Yeah, we already live. But um, to, to your point, Mrs. Knicks, like you, 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 you do worry about these things like teams playing down to the competition. But one thing I can say about this team, I'm not worried about that. We are, I forgot the exact record we are against under 500 team, but I think we only lost three times this whole season to a team that's under 500. So Tim's got, the, and it's, it's a bigger point that I want to bring uh, up later on in the show. But Tibbs got these guys ready to play every game. You feel me? These guys compete every game, no matter who's in front of them. They go out there with the same intensity, and that's impressive to see. Yeah, I mean, Fraz, you know, Mrs. Nix just gave her input on the game. I'm going to ask you about your input on the game before I start really talking shit. Okay, one thing I want to speak about in this game is – um. Our Knicks players are starting to stuff the, sh- the stat sheet a lot more. Um, let's look at iHeart's line real quick. Six points, ten rebounds, three blocks, five assists. I mean, it's a testament to how the system is working where you got a system that any guy could have a big game any given night. It doesn't have to be our star. It doesn't have to be Brunson every night. And that's what you want with the team like ours. You don't have to put all the burden on Brunson every night. As you see, Divi carried us tonight again for the second night in a row. You know, even though Brunson... <laughs> <laughs> the team is in the full house tonight. Yeah, what's up, What up, Cubs? <laughs> it's a full house tonight, baby. Yeah, what's good? Study, uh, study, man. I'm, Look, I'm sorry, Fraz. Keep nah, going. you good. You good. You cooking, I mean, brother. I wasn't going to be too long-winded. I was going to land the plane real fast. I ain't trying to take up too much time. You know what I mean? Um, Back to the point of the stat sheet stuffing now, right? 
You heard I Heart's line. Jay Hart with the triple double, 11 points, 10 assists, 14 rebounds. Um, even Divi with his 40 points had five rebounds, two steals, two assists, and one block on 11 to 20 from three point field goal range. Um, Brunson had 28 and six, his normal six assists. That's his average now, which you're glad to see that when you got new guys coming in. He had a, he's been having an uptick in assists since the OG trade. And that's what you want. Your players getting better and your team getting better because this is what's going to win games in the playoffs, the team game, not just individuals taking the game over. You know, you got a collective where you don't know where the points is going to come from. So you can't just stick one guy. You got to try and guard everybody. And you can't guard everybody, you know. But, you know, that's it for me. I ain't trying to take up too much time, you know. Kev, talk to me, Kev. Listen, um, you know, I missed the whole first half. I I was so thrown off, bro, that I forgot we was playing today. I, <laughs> I was I you know, you get caught up in my I'm, I'm you know, you know, you know what it is. Um but I got to see the second half. I got to see the second half. Um I, I kinda knew we had this game in the bag, but but to see Dante go off the way he went off. That that just yo, shout out to Leon Rose, man, because I keep saying it, bro. Like you 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 know the, the money that, that was given, uh, which was a steal to me in my eyes, the dude is a dog. Yo, hold on, Kev. I we, thought, is anybody else having trouble hearing Kev? Yeah, it's a, a little, little bit, uh, yeah. I think yeah, it's sound uh, muffled. Yeah, y'all can hear me. Hold on. Hmm. Y'all can yeah. hear me now. There yeah, we go. Yeah, yes, yeah. Oh, okay, it's my, it's my hoodie. That's why. It's my hoodie. My bad, y'all. My bad. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So so like just you know I'm I'm really really glad to see Dante on our team. Um. Shout out to Leon Rose, like I said before. Um. Because the deal that that we gave that man was stupendous. Um. Um. He's shooting the lights out the ball. Um. I'm glad he's shattering. Evan Fournier's record because I want that man out of there. He's I don't want him to be number one no more. You know, um what what he brings to the team, it's like, okay, if Jay is not there, if Jay is not playing, we still got yeah. guys. We still got guys. Yeah, Kev, my bad, my bad to cut you off again, but you sounded muffled again. Yeah, brother. it's cut it's cut you in and out. Let it's me cut, let me cut. let me all right, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah. Uh what call it? Uh, you know, my little two cents on the night, like I started off the show, something that we was absolutely supposed to do was pack these guys up early. You feel me? Uh, by a large margin, not only because they're a, a bad team, they're a bad team that's severely injured, you know? Yeah. Um, and to see, and again, that's credit to the coach Tommy T to see that the team came out not giving no Fs about that and going full force off the opening tip off. Uh, you got to salute because, you know, even the best teams, I have a team like that sometime might come out and go on a quick, you know, little uh, 5 to 10 or 5 to 15 run or something like that early in the game because, you know, they just think they're going to walk through them. But shout out to Tiz for that, you know. You know, shout out to DiVincenzo for for breaking the record. And, and like, uh, what's his name said? Uh, Solomon Grant, shout out to you. Like he said, Breaking the, the record in front of the opponent who held the record is that's that's grade A shit. Uh, <laughs> I loved it. I I, 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 I love that Tibbs allowed him to stay in the game, not only to break the record, but also get his first 40 ball of his career. Yes. Um, uh, and I gotta say this too this is why this is part of the reason why I'm annoyed with Evan Fournier as a whole, not just because of the shit that he said before he left and after he left is the fact that I've never seen him play defense <laughs> that hard in my whole entire life. When yeah. Dante had nine, I never seen Evan Fournier play that much defense his whole entire stint as a New York Nick. He did not do that. It was all bad defense from um um Evan Fournier. But then when Dante got the nine, that nigga was playing defense. Yeah. I was like, yo, what? 
Who knew Evan could play defense like this? I wish we had when we had him. Somebody was about to break one of his records every night, because then maybe we'd have got some some defense, and he could have stayed on the goddamn court. But yeah. now it was beautiful that when he he hit the the the, the ninth one, no, the tenth one, in his face too. Frap out mm-hmm. the <laughs> <laughs> right, but now nah, it, it was dope to see. But to everybody's point about the team and the team's collective, you know, play, uh, especially in a situation like we're down two star, three starters. Uh, you want your your star player to be the most consistent thing on your team because that's what mm-hmm. your star player is. Every night, that got to be the guy. For well, for most nights, that got to be the guy to lead the charge. But it's beautiful to see, like, to Fraz's point and to Kev's point and Mrs. Nick's point, that everybody can chip in to get the dub. You don't know who Knight is going to be. And when they find the hot guy, they keep on feeding the hot guy. Mm -hmm. And the team's playing so unselfishly because that's what you need when you don't have a whole bunch of guys that could go out there and create a shot for themselves. Because if you notice, outside of J.B., there ain't no shot creators. Mm-hmm. Dante, you know he, he drive and kick, but he don't. He don't have no. He don't have no real. I'm gonna get past you moves. You feel me? Nobody does aside from JB. But the way we've been playing, uh, playing through our heart in the, in the high post is what I've been from when we got our heart. I was screaming for this when I was like, "Yo, we got this guy. We need to put him in the high post." Let him pass from there. He got the ability to do. I'm glad to see that we're doing it. Ah, uh, man, it, it, it's a beautiful time. It's a beautiful time. You know, uh, I'm gonna land the plane because I feel myself being long winded. But I mean, um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, just, I, I just wanted to cut in real quick. Like Knicks fans, I've told y'all this all season. I need y'all ten toes down with us, man, because we've been telling y'all all year. What are y'all worried about, man? This team has everything in hand they have it under control i mean there's been times when we've had erratic play like the nuggets game recently in the fourth quarter you know with the turnovers and and the 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 bad ball handling they could have won that game too but one thing you've seen lately from other guys you've seen career nights deuce had a career night the other night with the 29 divvy has his first 40 point game tonight and what y'all got to understand is this. When we get healthy, when Randall come back, when Mitch come back, and when OG come back, I'm telling you right now, the league is definitely in trouble. The Eastern Conference is in trouble. <laughs> Yo. That's a fact. I mean, let uh, me piggyback on that real quick because we got to show Deuce some love. Of Not course, only, man. All these, all these last few games, and I know can't be – he be watching. He ain't looking the same. He's like a proud parent. He's smiling. He already know. He already know what's coming. He know what's coming. Man. I was waiting for it. He's been saying it all along, though. Hey, man, I'm sorry. He turned up and showed out game after game after game. And T-Time said it earlier in the season. Want him to be more aggressive. T-Time, he looking like JB in that paint sometimes. I was about to say. Yo, listen, man, it, 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 the kid's looking good. I, I'm, he's looking good. Uh, and I've been calling for you, right? I've been calling for him to be more aggressive because, you know, I may not have been screaming from the rooftops for Deuce like, like Kev, but I knew that he was good. We saw it in the G League that he could score. My thing was like, all right, like just be more aggressive. Stop passing up the open shots, you feel mm-hmm. me? Like, cause it's been a lot of times he was passing up open looks and then like you be chucking up shots. What makes you look bad is like, sometimes you get caught with the ball and you got to take rush shots, right? Cause in, in down in the shot clock, because we pass up open shots. And ever since he stopped doing that and being more aggressive and it, he's only getting better. And that's the crazy part. <laughs> he's getting more and more comfortable. And, and, and this goes well because when we get healthy, and he goes back to his role of being off the bench, and he start playing against the second units, and cook having him. Oh. Cook him. <laughs> this is what I'm <laughs> this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean? so it's, it's beautiful to see. Uh, 
Real quick, everybody in the building, we appreciate y'all. I'm sorry if I didn't give y'all y'all shout outs yet, but please press that like button. I- I'm saying, can I shout out Darlene real quick? You know, Absolutely. I love you, Darlene. Darlene, you already know I got to shout you out. You always Absolutely. pulling up on my lives, the Nixon ish lives. Shout out, Darlene. You already know, Darlene. Well, Nothing but love. Well, you already know what it is. You know the vibe. I, I will. I, I I will say this because I remember they they used to call him the um the G League. What was it? The G League. Uh uh. Damn, there was they they was, uh, they used to call him something. The G League um, Legend or something like that. The G League yeah. Legend. Yeah, That's yeah. Oh, yeah. Like he. Oh, you know, I was yeah. on the other show today. And I cooked <laughs> him about that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're talking, I was the talking about legend. the G League Legend. legend but he the cooked crazy him Potter, cooked him, cooked him, cooked him. And yo, and from what I saw, it was eleven points all on cam. Eleven yep. of his twenty-six all on cam. Mm-hmm. All on cam. You know what I'm saying? Like the kid, yo, I think finally Tibbs said, Yo, you got the light. You got the green light. It's in your court. Handle business. Because he yeah. didn't play like that before. He was playing nah. very nah, he nervous. was playing like nervous. Like, like he didn't. He was scared to shoot the ball. He, 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 like offensive, defensively, he never had no issue. His confidence on the defensive side of the or, or, or the court was like none other. But offensively, I think Tibbs had him kind of like on that on on a rope. Like, no, 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 you sit in that corner and and shoot the three, and that's it. <laughs> but now, but now, ever since we traded quick. And yeah. RJ and these guys, he's been, he's, if you notice, he's been more aggressive. He's not scared to shoot no more. Like, it, it's, it's, he's been flooding the gates from behind the arc. I think he's shooting like 42% or some shit like that. Yep. Um, yo, he, he's, he's a legit, like, now you got to make, teams got a game plan for him now, bro. Didn't he but have two five three pointer games? At yeah, least bro, he's like averaging that. almost yeah. five assists a game too. Yeah, like four point six or some shit. Yeah. You know, so like, yeah. some respect on my man Deuce, bro. And so, and, and you know what? Another thing before I land the plane, y'all gotta stop telling me that Tibbs can't develop young players. I don't want to <laughs> hear that shit no more. I don't want to hear that shit no more. He developed RJ. He developed Emmanuel quickly. He developed Mitchell Robinson. He developed. Deuce McBride, he's the de- he's developed Quentin Grimes, he's developing Jericho Sims, he's developing yeah. these players. He turned Julius Randle around. Uh, you you got so to to your two points, right? I will start with the Tibbs thing. You talk about somebody who's getting the absolute most out of it, his players. Like I don't, I don't, I don't, I haven't seen nothing like this in a, a long time where. Like everybody right. that's joined the team game has elevated tremendously, right? And then going back to Deuce, I think it had more to do with because even Tibbs mentioned it. He's like, Yo, Deuce was in a rough spot, you know, not getting a lot of minutes, getting inconsistent minutes, and, and things like that. So that's that's that that is true. To, it's hard to for your offensive game to really show when you don't have a rhythm. And your minutes are sporadic, but like you said, that defense don't go nowhere. It is, I have, I get pure joy out of watching Deuce McBride play defense. His activity, the fact that he's always in constant motion, trying to be disruptive, and I'm like, how the hell this guy's not tired as much running as he does on the <laughs> defensive end? Like no, no. he's fighting through screens, all these things, yeah, friends. That's a good point. I wanted to actually add to that because if you've noticed, there's been two guys who's been playing a lot of minutes for us that people don't really understand. And as Deuce McBride, A4 mentioned, and Josh Hart as well. Josh Hart is the only NBA player this season to play an entire 48-minute game. No, Deuce did. Deuce did last game. Deuce did too. Oh, yeah. So he did? Well, well okay. Let me correct this one. Yep. Knicks players are the only players <laughs> to play 48 minutes in a game. My fault. Right. Very proud. And one Very thing proud. I loved about Deuce playing the 48 after the game, they asked him, like, were you looking to the bench to, like, come out? And he's like, nah, I didn't want to nope. come out. Like, yeah. I wanted to play. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. today you can see it, too. He was hesitant to look to the bench because – 
you know, a player that didn't get a lot of burn, the bench is their nightmare, right? Yeah. But, like, to see that and to see, like, how Coach talks about his work ethic and how they were talking during the game, he puts up 153s a day mm. practicing. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Work ethic. So, and that's the thing, too, like, they – that's what you know. Tim talked about that, like how well he was shooting in practice. He knew it was going to translate to, to the game. And look, it has, yo. And and and, and, and this is the thing too, right? And this is why you got up. Michael Brown was good. What up, Michael uh, Brown? Goody Mike was good. He Mike was good. Awesome. While we got this pause, I got to remind y'all again. Please press that like button for the people on the screen. I mean, one time, right, one time. Right. Um. Right. Again, we I always got to bring it back to this front office, and you see the tremendous job that they do. Uh, I was talking about it earlier in the, on the other podcast, Who Run the City. I said, "Yo, is somebody mentioned it?" And I kind of built off of that. It was like, uh, "Is no JJ said it? Is a difference between us and them talking about the other team?" Uh, it's like, "Yo, y'all tried to build a culture around." The players. They tried to build the team around the players. We built our team and our culture around the coach. Around the coach. Like the front office went and got a whole bunch of Tibbs players. Hey, we, we believe said in that you. Right after you, the OG trade. Yeah, we believe in you. We like what you did with the team so far. We tried to do our own thing. Didn't work out so good. <laughs> to talk about uh, uh, Kemba and Evan. That didn't work out so good. I try to do our own thing. Guess what? We're going to go and get you a whole bunch of players that play the style of basketball that you like. And to even to, 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 to go even further, when people be like, oh, we missed on OG, so we settled, we missed on certain players, so we settled for these players. Nah, that shit was strategic. You have to go take a stab at a Donovan Mitchell, right? You don't get Donovan Mitchell. So then you go and fill that void with some players that you know fit the system already. It, it wasn't like, oh, we missed on this player, so we just going to grab anybody. Nah, this shit was strategic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was strategic. Dante, strategic. Jalen Brunson, strategic. OG Ananobi, strategic. Josh you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Josh Hart, Hartenstein, strategic. You I feel mean, me? Precious. 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 Strategic. Mm-hmm. And that was a sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> 16 rebounds tonight. Yo, can I, say something? can I say something? Can I say something, though? Come on, Kev. I want to say something. Yeah, <laughs> people going to have to start thinking about Leon Rose for executive of the year, bro. I agree. Because, 100%. Like, you, 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 you expended Josh Hart. Six triple doubles in the last 20 plus games. Dante DiVincenzo playing off the wall. There you, you, go. you, you go and you make a trade for fucking OG Precious and and um and and what's uh, McCap Millic Ma, what's his name? Bogdan Malachi uh, friend. Then you flip Grimes for 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 Alec Burke and and Bogdanovich. Bro, like the dude is is making all these imp- crazy moves to help the Knicks get to where they need to be, bro. So like I think I think. He's a guy that people got to start talking about, man. Because if the Knicks, if the Knicks are able to do something special this year with this team, I mean, I I, I don't know. Does he does he yeah. get does he get those votes? I I, I think he should. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my guy Rampage Ray in the building. Word. Word. Shout out to Rampage Ray. Ray. Uh, you already know. Uh, I think I think he deserves some consideration because when you look at the roster. And you just look at names. It's not one of those rosters that you'd be like, oh, th- that jump off the page. Like, this team's supposed to be this good. You know what I mean? Like, this mm-hmm. – I-, I guarantee – first of all, let's go to what they predicted us to be. <laughs> they, didn't pre- they, they, they had us fighting for a playing spot. Mm-hmm. They had us fighting for a playing spot at the beginning of the season. And the, 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 the front office made the necessary adjustments. Now we back – at fighting for uh, the third seed, we are half a game out. Yeah, you know I mean, and we had massive injuries that could have been a massive setback. But we had, and 
you have to you have to give that some consideration. But it was something else I wanted to say too. Today was the first day I see Bogdan actually look like he understood what his role was. Yeah. Don't yeah. do too much. Yeah. You're not here to do too much. You hit it, <laughs> catch and shoot. What? You got two dribbles. If you're not oh. shooting, pass the ball. <laughs> and it I've, was the first time it looked like he actually understood that today. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I tell everybody, Bogdanovich is the one who's going to have the learning curve coming over to our team. Alex Burke had less of a learning curve because he was already here as a Tibbs guy, so he already kind of knows what's expected. Oh, no, he got a learning curve because he still ain't got it. Well, <laughs> it, it, Alex Burke it's, is more, me off. it's more of the him thinking he can handle the ball more. No, he thing. think we that old Knicks team that he played on. We not yeah, that it's team. not that no more. You don't have to handle the ball, bro. You're not the point guard no more, bro. You don't got to handle the ball no more. Fact. Play your role. Be a shooting guard. Shoot the ball. Come off the screens. You ain't got the shot. Pass the ball. You know what yeah, I mean? Alec, Alec Burke won't shoot over three, four people. Chip yeah, you know, you're doing way too much for me. You know what I mean? Wait, yeah, too he, he, he Jimmy J. One in the it, building was good. He line. He what up, not the, not the same uh, Alec Burke from when he was here prior. Um, I don't know what's going on with him. I think I, I, maybe the pressure, I don't know, is, is, is weird, but... Um, he might. Uh, do you think that he made the playoff uh, roster? Poor shot selection. Absolutely. Tibbs love him. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and I, I'm not mad at Tibbs for, for loving Alec Burke because I know what Alec Burke can do. We've seen it, right? Yeah. He just been taking the shittiest shots. <laughs> it is shitty shots. That's what he's yeah. taking. That's a nest. It's shitty shots. And when he's not taking shitty shots, he's in fact effective. Like he played well against the Nets. He, he played well against the Nets. Not so much mm -hmm. against uh Denver, but the mm -hmm. game before that, he played well as well. And it's because he wasn't taking shitty shots. <laughs> <laughs> when Alec Burke is shooting the ball and passing the ball and not trying to shoot over three, four people, you know what Alec Burke liked to do. He liked to try to foul hunt. He want to go throw his body into somebody and, and, and shoot a wild shot. When he stopped doing that dumb shit, take the, the available shots that are open, he's effective. Mm -hmm. When he's trying to do too much, dribble through his legs a million times, and then throw himself around trying to get fouls and shooting over three, four people, he's not going to be mm -hmm. effective. That shit is shots. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Kev froze. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you know, tonight, like I said, we handle business. You know, we definitely chasing this third seed. I think we're going to get it. You know, the, the, the Hornets have one. They have one job to beat the 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 the, the Donovan Mitchellless uh, Cavaliers. They couldn't even do that shit right. But that's <laughs> that's okay. That's okay because. We got some some winnable games coming up, and I know we're gonna handle business. Uh, but yeah, we gotta get. The, I, I I really don't care about who we play. That's what I want to segue into. I don't care about who we play because earlier today on the other podcast, who run the city, I said it. I said, listen, outside of Milwaukee and Boston, which I believe we could be both teams fully healthy. Everybody else is food. Everybody else is food. We. If we if we uh move up the third, if the if we start the playoffs today, say for instance we move the third and everything else stay the same, that means we play the Pacers. That's a sweep. To me, that's a sweep. We play the Orlando Magic, Knicks and five. Uh, mm -hmm. who's under there? We play the Heat, Knicks and six. And I'm yeah. only being Curtis because they beat us last year, but I really want that smoke. So I want to move up the three so we could possibly play those guys. You know, it's funny. I was talking about this the other day on my live I did about the playoff scenario. There's also one scenario that you should add in there. What up, my guy, Quasi? Um, the Sixers may take the sixth seed tonight as well if the Pacers lose to uh, – who are they playing? I think it's the Lakers they playing somebody. It might not even what? be the they playing somebody tonight. I know that. So if the Pacers lose and the Sixers beat Sacramento, the Sixers take over the sixth seed. So it might even be Philly 
in that sixth spot. And even if it's Philly without MB, they're not beating us. We know that. No, no, no. Philly over. Yes, it is. Even if with Philly MB, they're not beating us. Pacers lose tonight, Philly takes the sixth seed because oh, they're deadlocked with Miami right now with the same record. That's a fact. Whoa. You know? So it could even be Philly that takes the sixth seed. And we play That's Philly. If we play Philly without MB, it might even be a sweep. That's a sweep. And they might, you know I mean? they might not, it might be. It's, it <laughs> is a sweep. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, so. We don't even have to be fully healthy for that. Exactly. And we I can agree sweep with them T-Tom. as is today. <laughs> and I agree totally with T Tom because if you see in my live the other day, you saw I said the exact same thing. It don't matter the order in which we play them because at the end of the day, we giving everybody fits outside of Milwaukee and Boston, like T Tom just told y'all. Yeah. So and I ain't even that scared of Milwaukee because if we have I'm not either. Nixon five. I, I said we've already that. seen we've already seen the remedy for Milwaukee. We play physical with them. We beat them. Yeah, we we got oh, we we got OG on the court. Put him on Giannis. It's going to be a bad day for Giannis. It sure is because he OG is tall enough, strong enough, and mobile fast enough, enough mm-hmm. to stay in front of Giannis. Like Julius, he's strong enough, but he's not mobile enough. Yeah, you know what I mean, and we got somebody. I'm not worried about Middleton. I'm not worried about Dame. And people are like you're not worried about Dame. Have y'all seen nope. Dame play this year? Erratic. Have y'all seen Dame play this year? Yeah, I'm not worried. And, and, and for for all those people, I know I'm jumping around and being long winded, but for all those people who said that the Knicks didn't have the best player in the on the court, you guys are stupid, and you guys don't know <laughs> shit about basketball Fact. because. <laughs> It's not even close that I, I said it earlier. It's not even close that Jalen Brunson is the best play on the best point guard on the East. Not even Facts. close. Facts. Not even close. And somebody said better than oh no, Barry said better than Dame. I said, hell yes. Yes. You're thinking about Portland Dame. That ain't the same guy. Mm-hmm. That ain't the same guy. Jalen Brunson today is the best point guard in the East. And I'm trying, and I really be racking my brain trying to be like who's the best point guard in the west <laughs> i don't consider luca luca a point guard that's what like, kendrick that's what perkins said the other night they asked him who would who would he take over Jalen? he said absolutely nobody nobody he you said were. he said the only person that would come close is luca and luca's not a point guard that's what Oops. i'm saying hey, luca Jaylen like Brunson, fifth high school Fifth highest score in the in, in the, the league. league. Yep. Points per game, fifth highest in the league. Ain't no guard, ain't no point guards higher than him. Not, not a one. Not a one. Yeah, you know I mean, and you can see, you can see what he means to the team. It, it's still disgusting that he's not in the top ten in in uh, MVP votes. Yeah. Should be in the top ten. I'm not saying he should win it. I'm saying he should be in the top ten. It's some people in the top ten that teams are in the fucking playing. Yep. Teams are in the playing. How are you an MVP candidate and your team is in the fucking playing? That don't make sense. Coach was good. Was good. Salute, yeah. coach. Yeah. yeah. How you? How your team? You in the top? You top ten in fucking MVP votes, but your team is in in the playing. Don't make sense. You know what I mean? If you in the building, press that like button. It's important. You know what I mean? But yeah. Yeah, man, we 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 uh we here, man. I just can't I just can't wait till we get healthy. That's that's all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's all, cause it's gonna be scary, scary, scary. And us getting healthy, you know, we we haven't been here for a while. Mitchell Robinson said that he would rather come off the bench, and I'm incl- I'm inclined to agree. Mm-hmm. I'm well, let's start. Let's agree. start with this. He got clear for contact. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he yeah. will be back soon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a no, fact. No, but I agree with you, T Times. The way Hartenstein is playing, you wing Mitch back in. And uh, unless we play in a, a, a Philly with Embiid, then then you don't start, you don't start him. You don't start him unless we have to start him based yeah. on the matchup. No, no, listen, I'm just saying. I'm taking Hartenstein 
in the starting lineup, even with a fully healthy Mitch. Mm. I, his versatility does so much for the starting lineup. Uh, you saw the way he guarded Sabon, uh, Sabonis, shut him down in the fourth. So obviously he can he can cover, you know, the the better centers in the NBA. He got he got his ass whooped by the Joker, but everybody gets their ass whooped by the Joker. What? Well, wait, uh, he had a career high against the Joker though in scoring. Well, yeah, that's and that's one thing that Hartenstein has been giving you more of lately is yeah, what we need, scoring at the five position. We've been waiting for that. And now we have some of that coming in from Hartenstein now. So it's going to it's gonna only help to stretch the floor, especially when they run that motion in one play where Hartenstein gets the ball at the top and you got Brunson and Divi coming around, cutting around. Yeah. He's looking to hand the ball off or pass the ball. And then he looks to the wing to pass the ball right there. That motion in one play is so successful because Hartenstein's a good passer. And he's looking for a shot if they give him the lane. And, you know, this might give Mitch the the offensive freedom, some of the offensive freedom that he's been asking for. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, and Mitch got a, a move or two. Let's not act <laughs> like he ain't got a move or two. The, my problem with Mitch is when he get the ball in the fucking post, he always try to take a power dribble and get the ball stripped. Make if he smaller, yep. Yeah, if he eliminate that power dribble, there's nothing nobody could do with him. I just don't think Mitch is, is comfortable like how like Precious is. I catch the ball anywhere. I'm going up and I'm dunking. Like Mitch always got to like kind of gather himself first before yeah. he dunk. Like Hartenstein, same way. I catch the ball in any angle. I'm going up, lay up or dunk. And Mitch is not comfortable doing that. So that's why he always have to power dribble and he always end up getting stripped. Uh, but yeah, I, I definitely need, I definitely think Mitch would fit in perfectly with the second unit. Now, I, coach, the second unit, I don't, I don't really think the second unit need that much offense. If you mm-hmm. haven't realized, most of the second unit has been starting. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Most of the second unit's been starting. You know what I mean? I, I'm I'm very confident going into the second unit with Hart and, and, and Deuce and and, and, and Bogey because he's learning his role. You know what I mean? I'm 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 comfortable with that. You know what I mean? I'm comfortable with that. And you know the way Tibbs do is probably gonna be mix and matching. It's gonna be starters playing with the second unit. You know you're gonna have some times with Devo is playing with the second unit. Brunson is playing with the second unit. When 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 Randall's healthy, he's gonna be playing some time. So, yeah, I, I'm I'm very comfortable with that. Like Mitch going to the bench, helping anchoring that defense for the second unit, and, and yeah, probably getting more lobs because they like to pass a little bit more with the second unit. Mm-hmm. You know, Deuce is gonna be looking for the lobs. Josh is gonna be looking for the lobs. Now Josh is getting a taste of getting ten assists every other game. Now he he loves it. It looked like he liked that because he was, he was <laughs> passing up layups, getting this. Trying to get assist today. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, oh, I got the nah. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, Josh uh, Hart. Josh Hart, the number one rebounding guard in the NBA, man. We've been saying it. Yeah, yeah. No, they said it on on a on a on a telecast today. Yeah. That uh, I think he. I think he's like. Number one in rebounds per game. No, he's high up in rebounds per game since the All Star break. Mm-hmm. For players in the NBA, I think it's like top five or some wild shit like that in yeah. rebounds per game since the All Star break. He got more rebounds than a lot of people. And then you're not just saying for guards; they say for everybody. For everybody, everybody, yeah, That's yeah, crazy. yeah, for everybody. Not just for guards or people under six five. For everybody, he's like top five. You know what I mean? It is dope. That's what that's excuse me. This is what essentially makes this team very scary to play in the postseason is because you know that you, you look at across, it's like, all right, you know JB is going he's a dog, he's gonna give you buckets. And if we healthy, you know Julius Randles is somebody you gotta pay a ton of attention to. OG with his defense, uh, that's a problem. He's gonna knock down the, the corner three point shot. That's a big problem. And he could score in the paint too. Uh you got Hartenstein do what he do. Then you'd start looking at the bench like, nah, but all those guys are dogs. 
<laughs> you, oh, I forgot Dante DiVincenzo in the starting lineup. You see the way he's shooting the basketball. That's a big issue. Then you start looking at the bench like a whole bunch of dogs. Deuce McBride can light you up. He's showing that he can light you up. You got Josh Hart, Mr. Triple Double Machine, doing everything and playing stellar defense. You know what I mean? Then you got, even though he's not been consistent yet, but you. People around the league know Bogdanovich can score that basketball. Yeah. So he's some somebody that you also got to pay a lot yeah, of attention. You can't leave him open. Yeah, I mean, same thing with Alec Burke. He gets a lot of respect around the league because they know he can score the basketball. And everybody I just mentioned, except with the exception of Bogdanovich, are dogs on defense. Yeah. They make people's lives difficult on defense. So, yeah, it's, it's scary times for teams going into the postseason. Nobody going to say it out loud, but I know they all looking like, I hope we don't have to play them until late <laughs> in the playoffs. <laughs> I hope we don't have to play them until late in the playoffs because even if we win, we're going to come out that series worse for win. You know what I mean? And, and that's all I want to see is my team play the way we've been playing. We may not win, but as long as I, I don't leave games like that, uh, we we gave that one away. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like, I leave the game like, yeah, we gave a fight. Like, I wasn't even mad that we lost to Denver. You know what I mean? Like, we lost to the, the, the champs. You know what I mean? And we wasn't healthy. Those guys exactly. were healthy. We wasn't healthy, and we fought most of that game. You know what I mean? And we proven we could beat them. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> we packed them up earlier. It was about, like, 30 or something like that. Somebody yeah. swapped them. We up 38. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so if we in a good space, it, it, it's a good time to be a Nick fan, man. It's a long time coming. Uh, you know, I got to talk about it on here. I talked about it earlier. I was making fun of Nick's net fans earlier today. <laughs> it's my it, what Pop said on Friday. It's my joy. That's my pleasure. <laughs> 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 oh man! Yeah. So they was oh yeah, y'all they're happy I beating the yeah absolutely, absolutely I'm happy we beat in the Nets as, as what we supposed to be doing, you know, kicking their ass on a regular. You feel me? It's something that we supposed to be doing. It is beautiful to see, and and as I mentioned earlier, you, you see the difference when you try to microwave a championship. And when you try to build it the right way, you exactly. get the results of what the Nets are right now. Their team is in shamble. They're concentrated their money situation in shamble. They don't got no draft pick this year. It's nope. a shit show over there. They got to go find a coach. Yeah, you know I mean, you got people like Nick Claxton, Nick Claxton coming out in the media saying, I'm open a lot of the time. But, you know, I just got to keep moving and hope. hopefully they find me. That's a crazy statement right there. That's what's happening over there. When it on our team, if it's a bad game, you got players like, oh man, yeah, I had 30 points, six assists, but I gotta be better, man. Like that's the difference. Yeah. <laughs> that's the difference. Yeah. Shout out to right. Nets fans who had to pay me and who about to pay me. Y'all know, second year running. Y'all keep yeah. trying for ass. Y'all know y'all not winning no bets against me just please just, 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 just hand me your money right that's it just hand me your money that's all i gotta well, say no. i got a cool five five dollars coming to me after what is it, april 12th or some shit like that mm. uh, the next time we play the nets i got a cool five dollars coming my way you know what i mean and i i told him today too or, or who ran the city i said yo he's like yeah you know this this show was rough today i was like oh man i didn't even go in today I'm waiting for the sweep. <laughs> no, you know we waiting for that. We waiting, waiting for that. For that sweep. Definitely. I didn't even go in today. But nah, nah, nah. It, it, it's definitely a, a good time because we would, they beat us a lot in two years, man. And it was making mm-hmm. me sick to my stomach. Uh, making me sick to my stomach that we couldn't beat them. And But I said it. I said, as soon as these guys leave, it's over. Y'all, will, y'all won't beat us. Yeah. And they haven't. And, and it's funny I mentioned Nick Claxton because ever since he said, I will <laughs> have a loss to the, to the Knicks, which was inaccurate because he did have a loss to the Knicks on his record, yes. which was inaccurate. So since he lied, pretty much, mm-hmm. he ain't won since. <laughs> 
He you ain't won five six. in a row. Word. Absolutely. Five of them things. Yeah. Five of them things. <laughs> Soon to be six. Soon to be six. And oh, it's going to be glorious. Oh, yeah. Josh Hart is hilarious. First and foremost. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, he's a fool. <laughs> he said, and I quote, he said, Mikael Bridges look like Squidward looking outside his window watching Patrick and SpongeBob have all the fun. I was rolling when I saw that, bro. I was yeah. like, yo, yeah, he did him dirty. Nah. And I, if I was Mikael, I would be like, oh, man, how can I get over there? Because <laughs> as he good as, looks so unhappy. As good as this team is, right? I think if we if we had it hypothetically, I'm not mad. My team, uh, like I said, I love my team as is right now. But hypothetically, even though I know it's impossible, I'm just throwing it out there. Say, for instance, whatever. In the offseason, we give them Bogdanovich. We get Mikhail Bridges. We get a whole bunch of draft picks. We move Dante back to the bench. Our starter five would be Brunson, the no. Bridges, OG, Julius. Hartenstein. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, it, it won't it. happen. It won't happen. But, I'm just saying. Give yeah, Bo- Brooklyn, you- Brooklyn turned down a lot of trades for uh, Bridges. I don't know what they trying to do with the kid. Or what they think he's worth at that. Because I think I saw up- something today. They turned down the Rockets trade. Yeah. Jalen Green. Green, and Bob- Green and like mad picks. Five of them things. I don't know what they think Macau Bridges is worth. <laughs> like, and if you start, like, if you in the, the, the net situation and you pretty much start to rebuild, you got a you super take young them picks. And you got a super young Cam Thomas. And you got, they give you Jalen Green and, and five picks. Claxton is still really young. Like, you, that's a that's a nice little call. That we go, okay, you still got Dayron Sharp that's still young. And he's he I like Dayron Sharp. Like he come off the bench. I think he need more PT, but it's hard to play him and Claxton at the same time. But you got a nice little co- man, that's their problems. <laughs> they don't they they're they're trying to build a team like previous Knicks front offices build a team. They just want to get names, but that don't win. Y'all ain't learn from us. We told them. <laughs> and they they go they going through what we went through for a long time. Uh 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 in, uh 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Well, uh, a front office that just don't know what they're doing, pretty much, right? Yeah, we suffer from that. Uh Steve Mills, Isaiah Thomas, like we we we've been through Phil it. Jackson. Phil Jackson, we've been through it. We've been through it, and they're going through that right now with with Sean Marks, and but that's their problems. Yeah, you know I mean, I I know when when I go on Who Run the City, the tone be real light over there when I get on screen. <laughs> you know what I mean? The tone be real light. You feel me? Just like I like it. You know, net fans be in a place. You know what I mean? And that's what I like. But uh, who we play next? I'm- I believe it's San Antonio. No, we play on Wednesday. Oh, wait, it's the wait, it's the Raptors, ain't it? The Raptors, yeah. Dennis oh, San Antonio, Dennis San Antonio, Antonio Friday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's another W dub. Mm-hmm. It's another W dub. We probably gonna win by 30 again. Their whole team hurt. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and Scotty Barnes is out. RJ Barrett out. Quickly's out. Uh Pirtle's out. Uh that 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 tall dark skin kid with the braids that look like a like a a, a bug, uh, I forgot. Boucher or some shit like that. Isn't it? Is there a kid named Porter on their team? One of they one of they Not players. Porter, yeah, they got a Porter. A Porter kid. Porter's under investigation for betting. Yeah. Oh what? Yeah. Yes. Crazy. News just broke today about that for the Raptors. Oh, no, he, he packed. <laughs> yeah, he's packed up for real. For real. He's so. packed. Nah, but that, that that skinny, tall, skinny black kid, he shoot threes and shit. Uh, Boucher. Boucher, yeah. Yeah, 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 he's out. Uh, yeah, like, there's a lot of people out, man, over there. And 
from what I saw, they was giving the, the Nets a little run for their money today too, which is crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did just for shits and giggles. Oh no, nah. all right, they they won by by eight. They won by eight, but yeah, I saw it was close game. Shouldn't even been that close to be perfectly honest. But yeah, that's an easy dub for us. Easy dub. Because like I said, I'm not worried of a letdown game because our team doesn't play to the competition. We play Knicks basketball every night. You know what I mean? Uh, y'all got anything else? Because I know I'll be, I'll be rambling, son. I mean, the only thing I'm going to say is this. The the team Knicks-ish win prediction of 50 wins is still alive. I believe we have 43 wins right now, if I'm not mistaken. And what we got, 11 games to play? Something like that, yeah. So it's still possible to win seven out of the last 11, being having to play the Bulls three times, the Raptors, the Spurs, where Wemba Yama's ankle was hurt, I believe. What? Yeah. Crazy. And I forget who. And playing Brooklyn again. <laughs> yeah. That's so. A I mean, it's possible. We still may hit 50 wins, guys. So you heard it yeah, here I'm, first. I'm looking at the schedule. So that would be four losses, right, that we could take. Boston. I only see maybe three teams that I'm worried about beating us. Mm-hmm. Thunder. Boston. Uh, Boston. And somebody else. And maybe Milwaukee. Yeah. Because uh, I'm not worried about uh, Miami. All the Kings, because we beat them already. You know what I mean? Like, I don't worry about those guys. But, yeah, it's possible. 50 wins is still on the table, Fraz. You, you tell no lies, my good brother. Mm-hmm. You tell no lies. And if we start hey, – my hope is that we'll start getting more healthy, too. OG, I don't think OG will be sitting out much longer. And if he does, might be a real issue here. I wasn't worried. But now I was like, I thought he'll be back by now, to be perfectly honest. They say yeah, I mean, he, he did shoot around today, um, but he's still feeling a little bit of pain. But I mean, nothing's nothing's physically wrong. It's just pain. Just, yeah. So, uh, and it's not good for shooting. I get it. Yeah, you know I mean, it's not good for shooting. And I've seen him wincing a few times. Yeah. Oh, you don't seem like the kind of guy that's going to play through a lot of pain. To be perfectly honest. Yeah, somebody in Toronto said that. Yeah. Yeah. So. I ain't even mad at that. Get right, homie. You know what I mean? Get right. Uh, but, yeah, 50 wins. That would be nice. That would be nice. For sure. I really right. want this third seed, though. I really want this third seed just for the sake of us having a third seed, not because I, I really care about who we play. You know, obviously, home court advantage is going to be nice. But, you know, I just want the third seed just for bragging rights because I called it from the beginning of the season. You really did, well, though. People, people was looking at me crazy, Fraz, and said, yeah, we can get third seed. They're like, <laughs> yeah. Third seed? I remember that one live. I definitely do. But, hey, y'all eating y'all words now, ain't y'all? Third seed? Yes, we can get third seed. It's right there. Who, who? Speaking of which, who Cleveland play next, man? I think they play the Hornets again. I think you they lying, play a, a, a back-to-back with them. That's mm-hmm. nasty work. That's nasty work. They do. That's yes, nasty do. work. That's nasty work. Then they play this. They got a little. They got a little stretch too. If that yeah, Mitchell do will come back, they got. If Donovan a, Mitchell a will come back. Then that's what they. Donovan Mitchell will come back. That third seed gonna be ours. Yo, <laughs> that broken nose, man. He been out for a minute with that broken nose. Nah, I thought it was a knee injury. No, broken nose, bro. Oh, wow. They can't just oh, put man. a mask on his ass. I don't listen. <laughs> nah, they gotta, they gotta heal the bone. First yeah, that bone is like because like up the here. Bone don't set, and somebody hit the mask, it's just gonna break again. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, nah, you know, injuries ain't funny, but yeah, they got a stretch coming up. They play, they play the Hornets, then they play the Sixers, and the Sixers could beat them. The Sixers has been kicking their ass. Mm-hmm. Uh, then after that, they play the Nuggets, the Jazz, the Suns, the Lakers, the Clippers. Like, mm. 
Yeah, yeah, that's a nice little stretch. I forgot they didn't have their West Coast trip yet. That's right. So they in trouble. Yeah. That Thursday was, was real, real nice. And even when Donovan Mitchell come back, you know he'd been missing some time. A couple games, he might be a little bit off. That's all yep. I'm saying. And, and even them, if we played them again, I think we're going to sweep them this year. We, yeah. We beat them in five. Well, Cleveland is over. We, we all know. Five this year. We all know JD is Donovan Mitchell kryptonite. Come on, man. <laughs> Last thing I'm going to say, then I'm up out of here. JB had 28 points tonight. I didn't even notice. That's the crazy, <laughs> that's the crazy part. Dante DiVincenzo erased. I didn't even realize JB was busting ass like that. <laughs> Quietly. That's how well That's how well Dante was playing. Like, I'm like, this dude is going crazy. Yeah. Going crazy. Nah, it's good times, man. Uh, we play Wednesday. Yeah. All right, I'll be here. We be here. Fine. Definitely. Be here. It was a good night. It was a good night. We had the whole cast here. It's been a long time since the whole Nixon is squad has been here. Uh, it was a pleasure seeing everybody. Do me a favor. Y'all in the building, press that like button. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. We appreciate everybody. I'm sorry I didn't get to shout everybody out tonight. You know what I mean? How does that even happen? How does that even happen? <laughs> I want to know. It only know. works for her. It only works for her. That's crazy. Yeah. That, that's crazy. But now you got to end the show like that all the time. Word. <laughs> you're the only person that can do it. You got to end the show like that all the time. Word. But uh, I see y'all. We see y'all. We'll see y'all on Wednesday. Peace. Let's go next. <laughs>